everybody who's watching this that are not live. We are talking to Katie Close today. We're talking about the five taboos about emotions. So let's jump into those, won't we? Let's see, five taboos. Oh, boy. So what is our first one, oh. Katie? Okay, the first one is that emotions are childish or they're weak. And so if we look at emotions as being childish or weak, we really diminish their value. We see them as something that mature or adult people do not have or do not use. And it really hinders our ability to access them as signals, as opportunities for insight. And is this, is this something that you feel like you see a lot in, in people when you're doing? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, first of all, I saw them on myself, right? Like these were all my taboos to becoming whole and, I wouldn't even called it that. I, I would have just, I was trying to be more driven, more accomplished, but I was losing parts of myself and, and that included heart and soul. And when I went to re go back and rediscover them, mm -hmm. I found that, well, there was a lot of reasons I had left them off in the, in the last place, right? I had given them up. And a big part of that had to do with the taboo that it's childish. You know, I wanted to be mature and put together. And, right. and so emotions <laughs> seem to get in the way of that. Right. And I see that a lot in other people. They feel mm -hmm. like, well, that's how I felt when I was young or that's ridiculous. But it established something. There is parts of our brain that are highly emotional, a good part of our brain, but also our being mm -hmm. feels things. We sense things. We experience things. And therefore, we are emotional beings and we need to at least honor that throughout our life. And actually, emotions make life really rich. Like if you numb all emotions out... There's not much fun to be had.